Hey everyone, so today's video, hopefully a video first, um, I'm going to do the Ancestors Genie meme and it was created by Jill from Genie Oz and I'll put the link to the meme and her blog down below and it's basically just a list of things and I have to say what ones I've done, what ones I'd like to do, which ones don't apply slash do not want to do, okay? So let's get started. Can I name my 16 great-great-grandparents? I can, although to save this video being really long, I'm not going to. Can I name over 50 direct ancestors? I probably can with a bit of time. So if you'd like me to, you know, name my 16 great-great-grandparents, name 50 of my direct ancestors, you know, like have it as a bit of a challenge, like how many ancestors can I name in like one minute or five minutes or whatever, let me know and I'm happy to do that. Do I have photographs or portraits of my eight great grandparents? Yes, I do. Do I have an ancestor who was married more than three times? Not more than three times, but three times. Yes, I do. Do I have an ancestor who was a bigamist? I do not. <laughs> do Did I meet all four of my grandparents? I met my paternal grandparents, my maternal grandfather, but I never got to meet my maternal grandmother because she died 10 years before I was born. Did I meet one or more of my great grandparents? No, they all died well before I was born. Have I named a child after an ancestor? I do not have children, but when I do, I'm definitely going to name them after ancestors. Do I bear an ancestor's given name? Yes, my one of my middle names is Elizabeth and my great-grandmother was Elizabeth. Do I have an ancestor from Great Britain or Ireland? All of my ancestors came from England or Scotland, so yes. Do I have an ancestor from Asia, continental Europe or Africa? No, I do not. Do I have an ancestor who was an agricultural labourer? I just took that as farming, so yes, I do. Do I have an ancestor who had large land holdings? I don't believe I do. I don't really know the size of the land that my ancestors owned, so for now, I'm just going to say no. Do I have an ancestor who was a holy man, such as a priest, minister, or rabbi? I do. My great-great-great-great-grandfather, Silas Gill, was a Methodist priest, a Methodist priest in the Campsie and Maclay area down in New South Wales, and he was very well known. Do I have an ancestor who was a midwife? No. Do I have an ancestor who was an author? No. Do I have an ancestor with the surname Smith, Murphy, or Jones? Yes. My great great grandmother was Mary Frances Smith, and her father was Daniel Guyton Smith. I also do have, it's not really confirmed, but apparently my sixth great-grandmother was Phoebe Jones. Do I have an ancestor with the surname Wong Kim or Suzuki? I do not. Do I have an ancestor with the surname beginning with X? Nope. Do I have an ancestor with a forename beginning with Z? I do. My sixth great-grandfather and his father were both Zachariah Riggs. Do I have an ancestor born on Christmas Day? Yes, my great-grandfather James Albert Dyer, his birthday was Christmas Day. Do I have blue blood in my family lines? I do not. Do I have a parent who was born in, in a different country from my birth? I do because I was born here in Australia, but my mum was born in America. Do I have a grandparent who was born in a different country from my country of birth? Yes, I do, because my mum's parents and pretty much everyone on her side of the family was born in America, and I'm born here in Australia. Can I trace a direct family line back to the 18th century? Even though I think some of it's still a bit iffy, but yes, my great 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 grandfather James Madison Riggs I can trace his family back to the 1600s which also answers the next question can I trace a direct family line back to the 17th century or earlier so yes I think 
the earliest date I have in my family tree, I think it's like 1535, 1537, or maybe it's 1515, and I'm pretty sure it's 1530 something, and it's a birth, but that's not really confirmed yet. <laughs> okay, have I seen copies of the signatures of some of my great grandparents? I think probably about half of them I have. Do I have ancestors who sign their marriage certificate with an X? Yes. Do I have a grandparent or earlier ancestor who went to university? Not that I know of. Do I have an ancestor who was convicted of a criminal offence? Well, two of my ancestors, my great, 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 great grandparents, William Wright and Elizabeth Graham, they were convicts. And she was convicted of stealing spoons when she was 18. I'm not too sure what he did, but he got sent here for life. Um, so yes. Do I have an ancestor who was a victim of a crime? Um, when you say victim, when you say victim, I'm going to say yes. Just from, because I'm studying criminology, I think my perspective of victim. So, yeah, I'm going to say yes. Have I shared an ancestor's story online or in a magazine? I'm always sharing my ancestor's stories on my blog, and the link is always below. Um, but Scotland's People is about to publish my, my article that I wrote about how I solved the mystery of my great, great, Aunt Jeannie Gow, so that's going to be really exciting. Um, so, but that's about it for publishing stories. Um, have I published my family history online or in print? Um, it, besides using ancestry.com.au, I personally haven't published anything anywhere, although I would like to in the future. But I know on my maternal side of the family, there is a book. Um, that like a distant cousin did for the family history on that side of the family so which I have seen and my auntie has a copy of it but that's about the only one that I know of do have I visited have I visited an ancestor's home from the 19th century or earlier no although I would like to actually mm, maybe maybe um, you know what, I'm going to say yes, because I'm pretty sure in America I have, but not here, that's weird. Okay, I'm just going to say yes for now. Have I visited, oh, do I still have an ancestor's home from the 19th century or earlier in the family? No. Do we have a Bible, a family Bible from the 19th century? I don't, I know we have a Bible, it... It might be, it might just be my grandmother's or it might be my great-grandmother's. I'm going to have to confirm those details later. Um, so, no, but I would like to have one. Do we have a pre-19, no, do we have a pre-19th century family Bible? No. That is it for the ancestors meme. I have done it. I have completed it. Yay. Um. <laughs> But yeah, let me know if you want me to do like any challenges, like name 50 ancestors in like five minutes or how many can I name in a minute. Like that would be, I would do that. I probably will do that. Um, but yeah, um, it is a federal election today here in Australia. So I'm going to go vote later today. I actually really like voting. Like I just think it's fun. Like with our state and local elections, you know, it's like one, two, three, four, put it in the box, then it's done. And I was just like, oh, really? That's it? I want to do it again, kind of thing. But like this one, we've got the House of Reps and the Senate. And I love voting. Like, it's fun. Like, I want to do it again after I do it because I'm like, oh, it's over now. That was quick. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I have to go vote later today, and then tonight I'm also going on a ghost tour at South Brisbane Cemetery, and I've actually never been to South Brisbane Cemetery, and it's one of the biggest cemeteries in Brisbane. Obviously, me and cemeteries were like this, <laughs> so I'm really keen for that. It should be awesome. It is at night time. 
I've never actually been to a cemetery at night time before and it's a ghost tour so could be a little scary but some of my boyfriend's ancestors are buried there so I'm hoping like I'll be able to kind of see the layout of the land of the cemetery so yes it should be really really fun I'm really really keen for it I'm so excited um but yes anyway that is it for this video um I hope you all have a wonderful weekend slash Friday wherever you are and I will see you all next time